get it. This your girl, Nina. Nina, come and talk to you today about some updates, some new information. Well, it ain't really new. All this stuff is old to me. I've been hearing about the same old, same old when it comes to Diddy. I know y'all tired about Diddy, but this ain't really about Diddy. It's about Diddy's case. But they have added new people. And I knew they were going to come after these folks. They should have just been on standby. You know, we, we, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, and this don't even surprise me. I don't know why a lot of people surprised when certain names come up in this case. I could pretty much tell them every single person, the, the top 20 that's going to be involved in this case. How y'all doing? Come on in. Little updates about the Diddy case. Um, I know whoever don't want to hear, just log off. I know y'all sick of Diddy. I am too, shit. But um, I knew they would eventually mess with these certain people. Mary J. Blige. Didn't y'all know Mary J. name was going to come up in this case? I know she had to be somewhere sitting back like, they going to call me in a minute. Mary J. was Diddy right hand. Come on, man. If y'all didn't think Mary J. Blige was involved in this mess, something wrong. I, I knew it. Something wrong with y'all if y'all didn't think she was involved. I said, any minute, Bloody Mary is going to be called. You know why I call her Bloody Mary? I'm going to tell y'all why I call her Bloody Mary. Y'all excuse me. I ain't got my lashes on right now. Hope I don't look too bad. This is me without no makeup, no lashes. So for the ones that think that um. I got to wear makeup. No makeup, no lashes. That's how I look, okay? So, please be patient with me. My my, eye, my eyelids is bald. Yeah, it's bald. Mary J. Blige, I call her Bloody Mary because of Danny Boy. Have you ever heard of Danny Boy? Danny Boy was signed to, I think, Death Row Records. He was from Chicago. He was a young guy from the west side of Chicago. And he can sing his butt off. Look him up when we get off here. And he sing, um, I think he made For My Homies. He made one of them nice songs that was a hit. But anywho, Danny Boy was in New York. Now, I'm confused for a minute. Y'all got to help me out with this. Could y'all get my likes up first? I have a question for all the ones who followed Death Row and Bad Boys back in the day. I used to just follow Tupac. I don't know about all the other stuff going on because I didn't even like Suge Knight. I thought he was crazy. When did they all get that cool? Because Danny Boy said one night at the hotel in New York, Suge Knight called him upstairs. Suge go get called too. You know, Suge, he, he ain't out to, you know... He ain't out the, the river. He know all the shit that's going on. Suge Knight was upstairs with P. Diddy baby mama Misha. There's some freaky mess going on around here. Suge messing with Misha, that's why allegedly they think either Suge Knight or Diddy's bodyguard is Justin Calm's daddy. They says one of them. Wolf. Is it the Suge Knight or Wolf? Justin, the one been in trouble. Yeah, I know he don't look nothing like Diddy. But you know, I mean, I'm going to say something that's going to piss Misha off if she ever seen this video. You know when you a, you out there on the streets, you hooking and you doing tricking and stuff. You know if you get pregnant, your pimp owns the baby. You know, that's how it go. When you get pregnant in the streets, your pimp go ahead and say, that's my baby. That's just the rules of the game. Now, I ain't saying that's what happened. That's the rumor out there. You ain't hear the shit from me. Don't come after me, Misha, because I'm broke. Don't have nothing for you. Anywho, let me go back to the story. Danny Boy had an interview, and he wrote a book. It's a book out there. He said that he went up to Suge Knight's room. Mary J. Blige was sitting on the sofa. Misha was sitting on the bed. And um, Big Bubba was in the room putting baby oil on his up. You know, he was ready for me love you long time. You Suge Knight, big ball head crazy. But she was messing around with Suge Knight. So me should have been messing with the enemy. And she was messing with Diddy and Suge. Something wrong with her. 
That's what I'm saying. Now she, I'm calling the police and I'm pressing charges. Girl, if you wouldn't have had your son in that world with your cray cray allegedly baby daddy, you wouldn't be in this mess right now. But if you go back and look at the videos, she all in the pool and acting like one of them little thoughts. And then she ended up pregnant by somebody. Who knows? Justin, or who, Justin is a mutt. They don't know who his daddy is. They don't know who that boy daddy is. So, Danny boy at the time, he said he was 15. Another Usher situation. He come up in the room. Suge Knight kind of pulled him to the side like, yeah, you know Mary J like you. He was like, what? Mary was grown, y'all. So, he like, she liked me. Yeah, Mary J, want, you know, she, she want to jiggle your balls. And he was like, no. Nah. He looking, he starstruck because he looking like, dang, this is Mary J. Blige. He a new kid on the block. He young. And Mary J. Blige telling Suge Knight, I want to mess with this. I want to mess with him. So he looking like, what? So he said he sit down next to her on the sofa, right? Misha and Suge went on in the other room. and They did their thing. They was in there doing whatever. He's sitting there with Mary J., and I just seen this. If y'all can see what I see right now, this man got on some li a lime green shirt with some neon pink shoes. Lord have mercy. I don't know what that say. What that say? Hey, Nina. I'll read that in a minute. So he's sitting next to Mary. Mary puts, thank you so much. Thank you for the love. Mary puts her hand on his leg. He nervous. He a kid. He like, what, what the hell going on? Mary J. Blige touching me. So they end up in the bedroom, one of the rooms. In the, it was in a suite. They lay there all night. Nothing happened, he said. They lay there all night and they talked. Now, what can a 20-some-year-old woman be talking about in the bed with a 15-year-old boy? I wonder what they was talking about. He didn't say exactly what they was talking about. But he said nothing happened that night. Just a little touchy-feely. He said he go back home to Chicago, he get a call from Mary J. Blige. So that means he gave Mary his phone number. And back then, did they have a cell phone? His brother was calling his mama house. So Mary said, hey, I want to see you. He was like, I'm in Chicago. Get on the next thing smoking, I'm going to send you a plane ticket. So he like, what? So I don't know who he called, but he got to the airport. He flies to New York. He go see Bloody Mary. Now I'm going to tell y'all why I call her Bloody Mary. She was on her psycho. Now I don't know no man to make this up. He said she got to the hotel. He got to the hotel. She pretty much molested him. Just ripped, tore his stuff off. And she was on her psycho. He said she got in the shower and stuff. He said, because he, he thinking, when he was talking to us, the man interviewing him, he said, I was thinking that, it started after I got there because she was kind of embarrassed. She got in the shower, but she still wanted me to hit it. And guess what? He hit it. And he said it was the most traumatic thing ever in his life because he was a 15-year-old kid sleeping with a grown woman on her cycle. Now, because you all think that boy made that up. I don't think he made that up. And it's in his book. So it's, Mary never sued him. This book been out, y'all. Mary never sued him. He said from that day... He was knocking Mary boots from here to the projects in New York. He was knocking her boots. She was sent for him. She was spending money. She was tricking with a 15-year-old kid. So I knew they was going to call Mary about Diddy. You know what they going to say to Mary? We got Danny Boy book. Yeah, we read the book. Actually, we about to go talk to Danny Boy. So if you don't testify against Diddy... You know we're going to come get you, right? Because Danny Boy already said what you did. He didn't say he was a victim. He was just telling his story. But guess what? Danny was 15, Mary. You a pedophile. So her deleting Diddy off Instagram and changing her phone number, and she over there with 50, 50, you got a pedophile over there with you. She slept with a 15-year-old kid. If people want to say that's her pass, but okay, y'all going to give her a pass? Well, y'all might as well give Diddy and Jay-Z and everybody else a pass. And guess what, y'all? That ain't going to be the only person that come out. Didn't I tell y'all, if they take Diddy down, this going to be the end of Hollywood. If they find him guilty of whatever they end up charging him with, this is going to be the end of Hollywood. 
Because y'all think that Diddy is so stupid that he's going to take this fall by himself. He better do Nino Brown on the ass. I keep telling everybody, that's why they, he seems so unbothered. He is unbothered. I'm telling Diddy is unbothered. He know that they got some stuff on him. He know this, man. In my smoky voice. He know this. He know he is freaky booty Jason the booty bandit in LA. He know everybody know he's the booty bandit in Hollywood. But if he's the booty bandit, who started this whole thing? Who created this monster? Maybe Clyde Davis? Maybe Quincy Jones? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's higher. This is bigger than Nino Brown. I mean, Suge Knight. Not Suge Knight. What's his name? Puffy Daddy. Puffy Daddy. Y'all remember in the movie, the Biggie Small movie, when Big Mama said, what grown man called himself Puffy? We should have known then. What grown man? We was running around calling him Puffy. That, that should have let us know something is wrong. You want to be called Puffy? Why? Why, Sean? He don't even want to be called Sean. He said only his mother and somebody else can call him Sean. Can't nobody else call I think Big. Can't nobody else call him Sean. He want to be called Puff Daddy. Jay-Z is another one allegedly the feds been calling. This is why Beyonce trying to run, but BB, BB, BDB. Sit your ass down. You might as well sit down too, because you going too. Yeah, this shit happened when you was a kid, but guess what, BDB? Your ass was tricking in the f offs too, BDB. Her, Mary, uh, uh, um, what's Stevie J's wife's name? The one biggest small woman, what's her name? Uh, Faith Evans. The one y'all saying, oh poor Faith, she had to give, she had to give uh, Stevie J a million dollars from their divorce. She should have gave them all her money. Let me tell you why. I don't have no respect for her no more. Let me tell you why I don't have respect for her no more. All the people in the world, all the people in the world, you had to go screw your ex-husband boy, which is Stevie J. You had to go marry big ex. Friend, I mean, you know, he was his boy running around with Big. Stevie J been around the whole yard, man. He been around from the beginning. So that made me think, was was Tupac telling the truth? Y'all yeah, remember Tupac said he slept with Faith Evans. She said he lied. Now, if you married Stevie J, after you didn't see Stevie J on Love and Hip Hop acting a goddamn on phone looking like Minnie Mouse, making that stupid ass face, you still wanted to marry him and slept with him. You can't tell me you didn't want my twin. I know you wanted Tupac now. Tupac was one of the finest in Hollywood. And I heard he had it like that. You know what I mean? She slept with Tupac. That's why Big jumped on her in the movie. I'm telling y'all, these people crazy, man. We overestimating these folks. She didn't sleep with Tupac. Yes, she did. If she slept with Stevie J ass, she slept with Tupac. That's why she was on a magazine cover. Look like she just went through down through there with Tupac for a few hours. Tupac didn't lie on her. Tupac might say a lot of shit, but I don't think he'll lie on his penis. He ain't lie on her. But they gonna call her ass because she part of bad boys. Lil Kim is real quiet. You know, Lil Kim, I think maybe that's why she went and got that surgery. And she be dancing like this. She, I ain't look him no more. I don't know. I think that's how she, why she hid herself. She went and got her face redone. But y'all know Diddy paid to get her face fixed. Diddy paid to try to redo her face. Because Diddy said, oh, no, hell no. Not today, Kim. Your ass finna go back looking like yourself. If I go down, little Kim going down to old little Kim. Not the one that look like Michael and Latoya. Your ass go, you little Kim. You going to jail too? So Diddy said, y'all, and reverse that. Fix her face back. Because she getting charged just with, her, with everybody else. Everybody keep talking about Diddy. I know Freaky Diddy's Freaky Booty Diddy is a freak. I know this. I know this. But y'all gotta stop acting like these other people want to join the F-offs. 
Y'all gotta act like y'all gotta stop this mess. Y'all gotta act like Prince Henry went over in there with Titty Jenks with the apple in his mouth. And Pastor Jakes, I ain't trying to talk about you, brother. I'm not, you know, I'm 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 not. But it's coming down to it that people at that F off about to be exposed. So Pastor Jakes, I'm praying. I'm praying you ain't on none of the videos. Cause I pray for you. Ask God to please don't please don't. I, I'm praying for myself. I do not want to see Pastor T D Jakes bent over with a G string. I, I wouldn't be no more good. Me, I wouldn't be no more good. All the mornings that he got me through hard days and, and prayers, and I'm like I'm depending on you. I'm thinking you re right here with Jesus, and you over at Diddy party with a G string. I wouldn't be no more good. So I'm praying that ain't the case. So I'm going to put Pastor T.D. Jakes over here by himself. I'm praying. Thank you so much for the love. I'm just praying that Pastor Jakes really got used. And I hate to say that. Because they trying to say Diddy used him to ease the uh, heat on him from the public. If we see him running around with Pastor, we won't think nothing. But this is my question to Pastor Jakes. If that's the case, sir, why was you at the party? I can see you just showing up. Happy birthday, Diddy. Give him a card or whatever. Y'all kids be good. I'm praying for you. Don't get too drunk now. You be safe driving home. I got this holy oil. Come to my church Sunday. I love y'all all. Bye. I can understand him doing that. Pastor Jakes was in there breaking it down with little Kim. Just First Lady, him and, him and First Lady look like Biggie Smalls and little Kim. They in there. I said, is that first lady with some Air Force Ones on? She got some Air Force Ones on and some silver braids, some feed-ins. I said, oh, no. Diddy done got to them, too. Then, Pastor went back to the church, and he did a Harlem Nights. Y'all remember the white dude in Harlem Nights when he said, put your mama on the phone. Pastor Jakes did that. He said, hey, Sharita. Put Sarah on the phone. I ain't never coming back. You can have the church. He gave Sarah the church. The F off was so good. Pastor Jake said, I don't even want a church no more. I'm finna open a church for Diddy. Did y'all know that? He was finna open a church for Diddy. So I'm saying if Diddy was using him to ease the heat, why did he lose his mind like that? You finna give up your whole congregation you got one of the biggest mega churches in the United States, and you just for to give it to Sarah. Don't even, you didn't even come get no clothes. Diddy was going to take him shopping. <laughs> Diddy said, leave your clothes, Pastor. I got you. 50 Cent didn't want to go shopping. You want to go shop? He took the pastor shopping. I'm just saying this to say, y'all. Mary J has been contacted by the police and it pissed me off because i'm like how they gonna go to a petty to get some information when they ain't even do nothing to her for sleeping with danny boy i'm gonna be pissed off if they give her a, what do you call her, immunity when she can testify and she gonna get away with being bloody married with a 15 year old kid not once not twice he hit this stuff for a couple years you hear me he was hitting Mary for a few years. Tupac hit Mary. That's why I say all oh, this is one big orgy in Hollywood. But see, Tupac, big mouth, rest his soul. Tupac ain't dead. I don't know why I said rest his soul. Tupac over there. I think Tupac the one over there telling. Wouldn't that be something? If Tupac come out and said, I told on everybody. I told y'all he ain't, he ain't dead. He over there with Elvis. He is not dead. Him and Big and Elvis over there telling everything. But wouldn't it be something? Oh, no, that's what I was saying. Tupac said he slept with Mary J. Blige and it smelled like chitlin juice. He didn't actually say chitlin juice. He said fish. I'm giving her some justice. He said he was, I don't even think he went through with it. He said he was about to and he did the finger test and he was like, that was the chillings without the potatoes. You know your mama used to put the potatoes in the chillings so it won't stink. That was the chillings without the potatoes. 
Tupac was like, uh-uh, mm-mm. And the only reason he was going to do it is to be spiteful to bad boy. Now, that sounds believable when it comes to Tupac. He probably would have slept with Diddy's mama to be funny. You know what I'm saying? But ever since Tupac died, it hasn't been no realness in Hollywood. But Diddy said, I want to be the last one standing. Just think about this. Big, I want to be the last one standing. If you put me in the jungle, I'm going to come out with a chinchilla. That let you know, Diddy's saying, I'm going to survive. I don't care what situation I'm in. If you put me out there, damn it, with Bigfoot, I'm going to have Bigfoot come out the jungle butt naked, and I'm going to have the coat on. That's pretty much what he said. Now, if that ain't survival for your behind, I don't know what he is. The man is smart. If y'all really think Diddy but sat there for over a year and kept the F off tapes in that house. And he knew they was watching him. He knew they was watching him. You know, when you got money, you got inside scoops. Didn't I tell y'all Mr. Muhammad, who was Michael Jackson, top security, had pool in LAPD and in Miami. Where's Diddy Mansions? California and Miami. And Mr. Mohammed has pull in both areas that Diddy can't be touched. Do you not think he didn't call Diddy and say, hey, them feds boys on you? Even though they want us to believe, they didn't know they was even going to raid Diddy House till they got to the front gate. Get y'all ass out of here. If people in prison find out what's going on in the streets in five minutes, I know the feds know what they about to do when they about to do it. People in prison could tell you everything that happened out here before they even call home. And I'm like, how y'all know that shit? The streets talk. Y'all ain't in the damn streets. That fast, people in prison know what's going on. I bet the people in prison knew Diddy was about to get raided before we knew it. So they can't sit there and tell us that they didn't know. It was so secretive that the police didn't even know till we called and said, Hey, the gate y'all at, that's Sean Puppy Combs house. Go in. What I look like. They on their way to Beverly Hills. They know damn well it's somebody rich. We finna go in their house. And it must likely be Sean Puffy Kong. He don't want been all over the damn YouTube. Ain't nobody stupid. Mohammed told that brother. Diddy didn't have nothing. Whatever they got out that house, he wanted them to find it. I promise you, he wanted them to find that. It's pretty much like, oh, y'all on my trail. Okay, take this, take this, take this. Y'all know that's his favorite word. So go ahead and get them videos. And when y'all watch them, I'm about to blow y'all mind. And I'm going to make y'all think, do we really want Diddy that bad? Damn it, how the hell, how in the hell did Donald Trump get in these videos? They said Prince, I should say Prince Michael. What's his name? Prince Harry? Now that took me by surprise. Prince Harry and people getting mad at me. I can't believe you're lying on Prince Harry. I'm like, you act like Prince Harry don't have a black woman for a wife. That that man got a black woman. He got a sister. Prince Harry then lost his mind. He told um um what's her name? His grandmama. What's that lady name? It come to me. He told her before she died. If you think I'm finna leave this chocolate bar for you, if you think I'm finna turn on this good thing over here that God gave me, cause when once you go black, you never go back. That's real, Grandma. Y'all can kill me, put me on the front line, and break me to death before I walk away from this juicy stuff right here. This right here, nigga. This right here. Oh, I'm going to Canada. I don't want none of y'all. This Prince Harry said, I don't even want y'all money no more. My mama told me about y'all. Ain't none of y'all shit. And he left. He did what uh, Eddie Murphy did on Coming to America. Uh-uh. I want her. I don't want... I, I do whatever you like. I don't want that. I want her. I want the one with the beady bees in the back of her neck from the projects. Mm, that's that good stuff right there. Prince Harry left. He didn't just leave. Prince Harry lost his mind. He met Diddy and was going to the F-offs. 
He just went on well with black. He said, I'm black. I'm light-skinned with freckles. I dyed my hair red. Like, you know, Shaquan did it on my hair. When I wasn't born like that. I dyed this shit. And he over there in Canada. But we thought he was in Canada. He was at Diddy House. I said, I know this man went at He was at Diddy. He even left the wife at home. She turned him out till he said, if this shit that good, if this that good, I know there's a whole bunch more out here. He turned into a black man and started cheating. He said, uh-uh, I'm going over Diddy House. Who you, who you talking to, man? He probably was slapping her and everything. And everybody told me, I can't believe your dog and Prince Harry. Miss, Prince Harry is a gangster. I'm surprised he don't have no rap song out. He a straight gangster. He ain't going, but he ain't coming back home. Princess Di probably, Princess Di probably happy because she probably had a black man. That's why they got rid of her. You know what I'm saying? She probably had a black man. Because if you look at her husband, you're like, this, he boring as hell. I bet his pee pee like this. He boring. I don't know how he got them two boys. I wouldn't want to walk around walking a mile to church every Sunday either. I would have left. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth was racist, y'all. For all of y'all taking up, I can't believe Queen Elizabeth didn't like black folks. She didn't even want Oprah coming to the wedding. And Donald Trump was mad. Donald Trump should have snitched in. Oh, I can't come. I'm telling about the freak off. He should have told. You know, Donald Trump go grab the coochie. He ain't he's gonna tell the truth. I'm just gonna grab it. He couldn't come to the wedding, but Oprah came to the wedding. Because I, I'm it making sense now. Prince Harry hitting Oprah. Yeah, he nasty too. Cause I know you know feeding the air. Ooh, doing the doing the crib walk. Her toe. Ooh, Prince Harry, you nasty man. Allegedly, allegedly. But I just wanted to tell y'all, this is one big orgy. Get ready for the orgy. I wouldn't even want to go in Diddy House because it's freaky juice all over the place. All up. That's why I think they had to get the ladders because they had to test the stuff on the ceiling. It's juice all up. They had to scrape the ceiling and shit. It's just nasty all over the house. Lucius all up in the house. Booty looking like a chitlin. Just everybody nasty. Quincy Jones want to act like he got uh all's time. Ain't nothing wrong with Quincy. You know what's going on. I bet if Tupac called you, you'd answer the phone. He over there acting like he don't know nothing. I'm about to die. So was Bill Cosby, and they locked him up. So get ready. Put on your work. Put on your walking boots, sir. Uh, you're going down with Diddy. Because that's why Diddy ain't bothered. Would you, for real, would you be bothered? If they coming at you, you you already a billionaire. You done lived the best life you can live. You didn't had the best women. You didn't been all over the world. Your friends are trillionaires. You didn't did everything you could possibly do in life. And now they coming for you. He like Queen Latifah in the car smoking a cigarette. <sighs> Waiting for them to shoot the car up. You remember on um, Set It Off? She said, Diddy like Queen Latifah right now. She's smoking a cigarette. Like, I'm about to get out the car in a minute. But before I do, they got to go find Jada. Cause I ain't getting out by myself. You know Queen Latifah told on Jada. That's why they found her ass. No, no, no. no um, Vivica Fox. She snitched. They just left that part of the movie out. You know Vivica running through that tunnel over there. Y'all better go get her ass. Y'all got me. You better go get her. Jada on the bus with me long you love time. Uh-uh. I ain't going down by myself. Listen. And I'm being funny right now, but I'm not being funny. Diddy smoking that cigarette probably a cigar because he noticed if i go down everybody going down why y'all think it's taking so long let me take a drink off that what have y'all known the feds to come in your house on a raid and then look for evidence later the feds now the police might do some dumb shit like that, but Homeland Security not gonna do nothing dumb shit like that. They know what they coming for, and evidently, what they came for wasn't there. How you coming into a mansion on boats and birds and cows across the water, and you didn't look? You weren't looking for the owner. You weren't looking for the owner. 
You know they was looking for, right? I, I keep telling y'all that they was looking for women. They thought little Rodney said it was some women in behind a, 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 a hidden wall. They was tied up. They thought they was going to find that little girl that was on the milk cart. You know, the little white girl. They thought the little girl, they, they thought she was up in there. They really thought... They, they was gonna find some juicy shit behind what little Rodney said. I know people want to believe, uh-uh, they know, they investigating. The feds don't operate like that, man. I ain't never known them to jump the gun and come in and take two, three weeks to come and arrest somebody. When they come, they got your ass. They got you. The fans will watch you for 20 years. So when they come, somebody leaving in handcuffs, somebody gonna be in the chicken wing. You know, the chicken wing, your aunt, somebody gonna be in that chicken wing. They ain't letting people go. You don't let no billionaire go. Now, if it was Aunt Kelly, he can't read. So he don't know how to even get back home from the airport. But, but damn it, did he? Catch me if you can. You don't let him go. Because now he got enough time to think. He got enough time to pay people. He got enough time to send them folks out there for... You don't... If, even if they did do that, they dumb as hell. If that's how they operating, they dumb as hell. Because a lot of evidence for to be destroyed. Because y'all dumb as hell. Had us all anxious. Eating popcorn like, oh, Diddy gone. It's over for Diddy now. And I'm like, oh, damn, he in the air. He running. He, oh, they landed the plane. I'm eating. Next, you know, I see Diddy, damn it, at the rental car in Miami, walking with his head down. Like, what kind of car I want to rent to get the hell out of here? I said, he ain't going to jail, Jesus. What the hell they go over his house for in boats? Why did they do Bad Boys? Was they making the movie and we just think this is Diddy? Because I'm starting to think it's part of Bad Boys. Because that's how they came. But do y'all remember on the movie Bad Boys? Y'all remember Martin and Will? Did the same thing and had the whole force come across on boats and stuff. Y'all remember that? And they had one little sack. And everybody at the station talked about them. They didn't have nothing. They lead led them wrong and they didn't have nothing. So maybe this happening again. I know people don't want to believe the feds make mistakes because they have 98% conviction rate. Yes, convi let's say that again. 98% convi conviction rate. When people charged, <laughs> this man ain't charged with nothing. <laughs> somebody in trouble. I can just imagine who over the feds, somebody in trouble. You know what they telling them boys that went over there? The one went and got the, uh, the uh, warrant from the judge, the judge in trouble. The officer that went and got the warrant, he in trouble. Because they just made the feds look weak. So guess what the feds do? They mad now. So they want to know if Diddy stole some candy when he was five. Find out everything about Diddy because we look stupid as hell. We got to get this Negro with something. Damn it. He ain't God. We got to get him with some it's something y'all can. This is why they digging right now. He got them digging everything. In the backyard digging up holes because if people finna lose their job. Folks gonna lose their job. If y'all don't come up with something on Diddy, all oh, y'all fired. You know why? Because he gonna break the bank in LA, in um, California, in Miami, Florida. He gonna break the bank. If they don't hurry up and come up with something, Diddy gonna be walking out the courtroom in LA, Miami, smoking a big, big ass cigar and putting his finger up at everybody. Because you know what's gonna do? He gonna get a lot of money. They destroyed this man's mansion. They told the heads off his kids, Teddy Bear. Ted is toe up. They told Ted up. They didn't broken safes. They, they didn't just do a raid, y'all. They tore down walls. Could you imagine how much a mansion wall costs? Diddy ain't even sending nobody to clean it up yet. He was like, no, just leave it. Because they finna pay for this shit. Just leave it. When he knew they didn't come get him that day, his attorneys was like, oh, man, we finna do an OJ on they ass. They messed up. Another movie for you. You know you fucked up, don't you? You know you fucked up. You remember Minister Society. You know you fucked up, don't you? That, that. And I ain't celebrating Diddy. 
I'm just saying a Negro like Diddy, you got to stay in front of him. They should have called me. They should have called me. You know, Tisha Tales ain't the only one to tell. I am a professional teller. I'm going to, I am, I have my PhD in snitching. I told you my mother trained me well from a baby on up. I'm the baby of my family. I didn't got a, a bunch of brothers and sisters in trouble, boy. I didn't got a bunch of people with butt whoopings in my lifetime. I am proud of what I got behind my belt. My brother and sisters, they got beat so, so many times, I didn't have to get one. I used to cash in my car. Mama, nope. You remember I told? Nope. So I, I got a lot of passes. They should have gotten me over there. I would have went in there in disguise, and I would have sat around with my own soda. I would have been the one in the corner sitting there with a damn camera on my hat. See, little Rodney did it wrong. He did it wrong. He was supposed to talk and ask questions, all kind of stuff. He supposed to took his freaky auntie to drink up in there. You know, the one that don't care about the, the booty juice. She would have been there drinking and partying, and he could have had a kid camera on auntie. She would have got everybody to talk. Because she would have been the one on the table. And they'd be like, well, I like your auntie right there. And she would have had everybody to talk. That's what we do. You know everybody got one of them aunties. Auntie would have turned the F off. Oh, she would have got Diddy ass. But he did it wrong. Little Ride went and got information on everybody that don't want to talk. At least make sure people want to talk first, Little Rodney. You can't go in there and say, damn it, my cousin Karen was at the F office. She was like, no, the hell I wasn't. You got to have somebody that want to tell. Like me. See, I would have wanted to tell. But see, then, I, I'm going to be honest. If if I was in there and Diddy had them people knock on my door and he told me he go a million dollars, I would have got amnesia like uh, Quincy Jones. I, I'm, I'm just being real. I know a lot of y'all do the same thing. That's why people ain't talking. They got amnesia. A million dollars right now, rent $2,000 a month sound real good. Ted, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the victims. I'm going to pray for y'all, but I got to pay my rent. And I don't even think... I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. But back to Mary, y'all. Mary J. Blige. Better not be one of the witnesses. Because she did the same thing. She was doing... Suge Knight was doing it. R. Kelly was doing it. Jay-Z was doing it. Diddy was doing it. Hollywood. Hollywood. Aaron Hall said he used to take it. They love the young girls. You know why? Because young girls love them. Could y'all get my likes up, please? Y'all, my likes is way, see? See, y'all y'all tripping. Y'all have my lights off like Tiana Taylor because y'all do not show me no love with these likes. And I got to pay my light bill. Jay-Z, y'all. I just found out something I didn't know today. I didn't know Jay-Z met Rihanna when she was 14. And he told everybody Jay -Z, uh, Rihanna is his goddaughter. But Jack Wire, you know Jack know everything. Allegedly, Jack Wire told the story today. She said he took her under his wing, just like he did Foxy Brown at 14. He helped her get a deal. She ended up with the bumps. That ooey, the bumps. So the night that Chris Brown and her got into it, he bust in Clyde Davis' house, kicked the door. But where is this bitch at? So she was in there. When he walked in there, she was allegedly giving somebody some ooey. She was giving him the, some heat. I don't know if it was Clyde. I don't know who it was, but she was in there on her knees. This the, is what Jack said now. So he cussed her out. They pushed him out the house. He said he was done with her because he found out he had the bumps that he got from Rihanna. Guess who she got the bumps from? Jay-Z. She was young when she got them. She told Chris Brown this, allegedly. I don't know how true this is. It came from Jack. She's been on the money every, you know, since she's been talking. So while he in his car about to pull off, Rihanna opens the door and she jumps in. 
He flying and mad cussing. Could you imagine you find out you got the bumps and, and your woman in there doing some freaky stuff in Clyde Davis house or you flying in your sports car. Luckily, they didn't kill themselves because they said the cliff they was going around is a big drop in L.A. It's some kind of highway that's dangerous. So he didn't want to talk to her. So they said Rihanna snatched the keys out of his car. She threw them in the bushes. This is like a few hundred thousand dollar car. I can imagine what a lost key costs. So they tussling and stuff. He already mad because he got the bump. So he hit, she hit him and he hit her back. But she light-skinned it. Face all messed up. Jay-Z got mad. He banned him from the Grammys. He got, he's, you know, banning him to, to come to the Super Bowl. He had been dogging this boy ever since because he said he going to tell that he was messing with Rihanna since she was 14. And I believe it. Just like he was messing with Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown and told... This is why I understand. Foxy Brown been telling this story. Why Jay-Z ain't been picked up? She been told that Jay-Z had her at 14. And he used to take her uh, different states to perform. And tell me he was made like a horse. He looked like one too. I'm not surprised he ain't made like one. Now, could you imagine a 14-year-old girl taking a grown man horse? She... Jay. Yuck. He wanted Aaliyah. Well, look at the pictures on YouTube. He grabbing Aaliyah's butt. She was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Our Kelly wanted Aaliyah. They look at these pretty little young things. And now I'm thinking about Michael. Pretty young thing. I'm like, what? LL got a song talking about he go to the high school and get girls. We went and we dancing to the stuff. And they telling us in songs, this is what they doing. Even MC Light got a song talking about how she mess with young dudes. It ain't just the men. Y'all think it's just the men? No, these girls like them young bucks. Trench Coke used to be 14. And Trench Coke probably was messing with Miss Sarah when she was 35. Young man, young man. You, you know them all with young man. I got them greens and that cornbread up in there, baby. You know, that girl don't know how to cook. She gonna go get you some little Caesars. I, I I could take my teeth out, put them on the bed. And them young girls can't touch this. I'd put my teeth on the bed. I'm telling you, them your old women, I bet Sister Sarah right now, she supposed to be leading the youth choir. Y'all better check on them kids. Y'all Y'all better check on them kids. We going over Sister Sarah's house for the weekend, Mama. We just gonna go to church from there. Sister Sarah could take them teeth out. Them little boys' life was over there. Y'all better go check on y'all little boys. I'm telling you what I know. This shit is this shit is ridiculous. But Jay, Beyonce, y'all in trouble too. Y'all in trouble too. So they may be making phone calls to the feds. Like you know what, Diddy is really not like that. You they trying to take up for him. Diddy really don't do stuff like that. Somebody lied on him. Because they don't want to go to jail. Diddy been my friend for over 20 years. And you know, I've been doing business with you guys. I'm going to go to no F-offs like that. Diddy don't do stuff like that. They taking up for Diddy. And I wouldn't be surprised if the judge just tell a little Rodney he's stupid. Get out of my courtroom. His boss or himself is not on them videos. We talking about billionaires and trillionaires, y'all. The millionaires was there too, but see, the millionaires to us is like the people that's on, you know, they 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 real low. The millionaires is like, they got billion and trillionaires at this party. It's nothing, no limit to what goes on there. All that money in the house. See, I would have been tripping about the money. I wouldn't care. If um Elba Elvis was in there, Ralph Trasker could have been in there. I mean, like, money in the house, money. I would have just been like, just let me lay on the money. I don't want none of you. Let me give up the money on me, because there's a lot of money up in here. I, but that's why them girls was willing to do whatever they were asked, because of the money. That's a lot of money. 25 250 bands a month. This what that this what I wouldn't want to ask Cassie. And I'm not victim shaming Cassie. But if I had the opportunity to ask Cassie this, I would ask her this one question. 
Little, little Miami and Daphne Joy, which is 50 Cent Baby Mama, they still get paid by Diddy. You know, they still get their money. They say they like to get pee-peed on. They rub Diddy's feet. They, they, you know, having sex with men is not a sin. I mean, I'm just, I ain't mean to say that, Lord, for you. It's not a crime. It's not a crime if you say, I want to have sex with this man. It's a crime if you exchange money for it. But see, Diddy got them on a payroll like they work for bad boys, and this is their salary. Now, what comes along with it, they got to prove it. Maybe he paying 50000 for his floor to get mopped. They can't say he can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So he disguising prostitution with, that's my employee. But this is what I would want to ask Cassie. If they can pay two hundred and fifty thousand a month to do f offs, and you were getting paid two hundred and fifty thousand a month, what was you doing? I'm just saying. And you accepted that money fourteen years, just about. What were you doing? I know she said he forced her, but I don't know nobody that's held against their will. Correct me, y'all. I don't know nobody that's held against their will. Tied up, beat up, whatever. And they pay them? If they hold them against their will, would they pay them? No, you my... I got you. You, you captured. You my slave. I don't, I'm not paying you. I, I'm a, Ike wasn't paying Tina. Ike was taking Tina money. He wasn't paying Tina. And Tina was working, dancing. She was just shaking a tail feather every, every night. And she was broke. He wasn't giving Tina nothing. I don't know nobody that give you money and making you do something. It just don't add up to me. Man, I wish I was one of the prosecutors or something because I'll be asking some questions. You got to explain some shit to me now. Come on, man. Make this shit make sense. Okay, we already know what Diddy doing. We are dirty Diddy. We already know what Doofy has done. He Hollywood doof Doofy. Okay, but what about everybody attached to Doofy ass? Okay, let's talk about Jay-Z now. We need to go and put him on the chart. Mary J. But we need all y'all up on here now. Ain't nobody walking. Nobody be walking. I be like, I ain't making no deals. They need you gotta make some deals. Mm -mm. Either everybody walk or everybody go to jail. That's the deal. Everybody go walk, everybody go to go to jail, Yana. What we doing? I ain't making no other deal. So we putting everybody in there, or we letting everybody go? Because it ain't fair to have one-sided to say, he started it, but you was there to enjoying it. If I get in the car right now with somebody and they do a murder, and I don't say nothing for years, and they find out, I know, I know seven people right now doing life, and because they didn't talk. I cannot get out the car, and they catch up with me, and I say, well, he made me do it. But you've been knowing about a murder for 20 years and you ain't say nothing? Your ass going to jail. You was accessory to a murder. These people was accessory to F-offs. And how I'm looking at it right now, first of all, they keep talking about the little girls. I haven't heard nothing about no little girls yet. I'm going to be honest. I haven't heard nothing about nobody underage yet. It's a rumor, but no one came forth. Nobody said nothing. But if it is, you better best believe Mary J, Oprah, all of them was scouting girls. Why Why y'all think they got an island? Why you think people from Hollywood got an island? Have you ever had your income tax and you feel like I want to go to school myself somewhere on an island, even though you can't afford it? But you, when, you got, when you got money, you want people to see you and be flamboyant and have fun. All these beautiful places in America. You can go. Diddy lived in Miami. Cor Corpus Christi. I heard it's really pretty over there, like an island. There's so many beautiful places you can go. Why do y'all got to have an island over there? And what's suspicious to me about that island? When I seen that man, Whoopi Goldberg walking next to Chris Tucker, I said, hold up. How did Chris and Whoopi end up partying at the same island, but we never seen them together in the United States? That don't look right, Chris. And I like Chris. But what you doing over there partying with Whoopi? What kind of party is it 
with people partying with Oprah and Whoopi and Gut and Gail. Who want to party with them? But they ain't never been a Diddy party. They ain't never been a Diddy party, but they over on the island partying with them. You know they was up in that party. Because y'all party together. Why do people that with money have to meet across seas? Why y'all got to meet up over there? What's going on over there? That's what I want to know. What's over on that island? Because everybody keeps talking about Epstein Island. I'm going to Epstein. Oh, it's fun over there. Diddy House was fun too. And we found out there was a bunch of chilling juice going on up in there. What y'all doing over here on this island? Ain't nobody talking. Ain't nobody talking. All of them need to go to jail or all of them need to walk. That's just how I feel. I don't know what y'all think. And I know y'all tired, tired of Diddy, but this is not about Diddy today. It's about Jay-Z and the Bumps and Mary J. Blige ass. We're going to hear about Lil' Kim next. And we'll hear about Faith Evans. It's going to be all kind of shit come up. We might be disappointed because we might find out Tupac and Big had something. You know, God rest they soul. But they might start telling them they did some. But you know what? I really believe they was trying to get away. I, you know, I really believe Big was trying to get away. He was trying to start his own bad boy records or whatever he was doing. He was like, I ain't got time for this stuff, y'all on. He had Lil' Kim. He had faith. He wasn't tripping with them. He wanted to get away from Diddy because he knew Diddy was doing some dirty shit. You know what I'm saying? Diddy did him dirty. Suge Knight did Tupac dirty. But Suge Knight got 30 years. He over there. Did y'all see his big ass fall out in court? Just, oh. I'm like, if you don't get your big ass up off that floor, go fall all out. After you didn't kill half of Hollywood, now you crying. I want to go home. Sit your big foot ass down. Now he got a podcast from the jail. Snitching. Not Suge. Big money shook. You snitching shook. I told y'all about Diddy a long time ago. Shut up. You know what I'm starting to realize? I'm starting to realize there's some dirty people in this world. I know it was dirty, but I didn't know it was this dirty. Everybody's sleeping with everybody. Hollywood folks just pass each other husbands around. Look at Kim Kardashian. She should have she should have been went to jail for the F off because she did it out in plain sight. She did it in our face. Lori Harvey did F offs in our face. And everybody, uh, she got a new boyfriend on them F offs. Y'all don't think they paying Lori. Y'all think Lori really liked them dudes. Why you think she should make them sign the NDAs with the NBA? <laughs> Why you think she would sign those papers? Because she don't want nobody to know what she doing. Steve Harvey know what she doing. What? Steve Harvey, act like a woman, think like a man. The one wrote the book, the motivational speaker, Steve. Why in the hell would he let his daughter have a different man every six months and don't say nothing? Money, 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 money. Money. That's why he, him and Diddy was tight. They said he's on Diddy payroll. I told y'all that the other day. And we already know Lady Heroin and her mama, she gonna get that bread. Everybody sleeping with every J Lo, how many men she didn't been with? I mean, damn, J Lo done been through Hollywood, man. They passed these women around. Haven't y'all noticed? What's her name? Um Damn it. I ain't come back to me. But everybody is messing with everybody. I'm like, this shit is in our face, plain sight. They get a divorce and they married the next day. But have anybody heard from Holly Berry? See, Holly Berry went and got on down. But y'all know Holly Berry was cray cray, right? Her ex-husband, Justin, the baseball player, he went to the strip club with Usher and lost his mind and cheated on Holly Berry. So I'm telling y'all, if Holly Berry can get cheated on, sis, you, you don't have no chance. You know, y'all be talking, men ain't no good. Holly Berry got cheated on. So you know, Shaniqua, Shaquanda, Shanene go get cheated on, especially if the brother got money. Y'all keep talking, I want a money man. You can't handle what comes with a money man. You can't handle that. Because a money man is Diddy. 
Can you handle Diddy? That's what money do. It makes you think you're invisible and you have a gold penis. They, money men feel like they can screw anything. Monkey, cows, ducks. Ducks ain't even safe. You know, Diddy feel like I can do whatever I want. I would turn off that bird. He don't care. Because that's what money men do. Y'all seen Nino Brown? When the girl was talking crazy, he poured the champagne on her head and he said, cancel that bitch and buy, I'll buy another one. That's real. So all you women out here saying y'all want a man with money. You better sit down and look at your baby daddy with his bad feet and say, you know what? I can cut his toenails. I ain't, you know, I can go and just work with his feet and rub his hands, you know. I know his elbows and his knees look like Mr. Brown, but I can work with that. He do come home. Did he want to have men and women in the room? You know, my my baby daddy just want a, a woman. Did he want my brother? You know what I'm saying? So I better just chill with my baby daddy. I'm just being real. You better work with what you have. If you have an 80, work with that 80. Nobody will ever be 100%. If you're looking for 100, you done lost your damn mind. I'm going to give y'all some food for thought. If you ever, ever, ever tell somebody, I give you all of me. I'll give you all of me. If somebody tell you that, run. Run. Because I think that's what Cassie probably said to Diddy. Run. You know why? If I have a cup right here, and I have a pitcher of water, and I'm pouring that water in that cup, and I'm pouring, and I'm pouring, and I'm pouring until it's empty. And I sit the picture down, and ain't nothing in there. This person over there doing like this, because I just poured all my, my water in it. I'm over there like, I need something to drink. No, you gave me all of you. You didn't save nothing for yourself. You're empty. Don't cry when you're empty because you gave somebody all of you. You ain't never even supposed to get your kids all of you. You have to save something for yourself. I get tired of people saying, I gave him all of me. Well, that's the problem, dum-dum. You didn't have nothing left to even think. You don't even have no brain. You gave him everything. Everything you had, he got it. And nobody going to always be 50% either. Sometimes when you're in a relationship, ladies, I'm talking to my ladies today. Because y'all the ones seem to think, men got to just, you know, we want them to be. That's a fairy tale land. You know, that's a la-la land. But sometimes when you got a good partner and you got somebody that really care about you, they may come home from work and they only got 20. They only got 20% in them. And you supposed to be the one, hey, baby, I got the other 80 right now. Go lay down. I got you. I know you had a hard day. I'm going to ride the rest of the way. You got 20. That's how you're supposed to communicate. Come in and tell somebody what you got today. Baby, listen, I'm tired. I only got 30% to give you today. I got your 70. Go lay down. Go to bed early. You sure? Yeah, I got you. No, what you mean you got 30% your bad foot pearl? You better get your ass up out of here. You know how many niggas want me? You gonna go cheat on a man that said today, just today I got 30%. I normally have my 50 to give you, but today I only got that 30 because you know 50 and 50 make 100. Stop asking somebody for 100%. They can't give you 100%. That's impossible. They can't love you more than they love themselves. And if they do, they is Michael Myers. They crazy. They're going to kill you. Get away from them. If somebody love you 100%, leave right now. You're in danger. You're in danger. Because them the kind of people like, I ain't got nothing to lose. You got everything inside of me. So if you leave me, I'm empty and I'm going to kill your man. Them them crazy people. You know, the ones we see on the news because they didn't gave somebody everything they got. And they'll kill you. Y'all better be careful what y'all ask for. I want a money man. You want Diddy? Because that's what you go get, young Miami. She wanted a money man, too. She got Diddy. And guess what? She get golden showers now. Diddy pee all in the face and head and everything. Just shh. You want me, baby? Okay, take this, take this, take this. And she taking it for $250,000 a month.
that's a lot of ass money, man. But like I said, I think billionaire PP kind of probably smell different. You know, the uh, General Motors PP and McDonald's PP sting and break you out. Nobody want that PP. But billionaire PP probably, I don't know. But like I said with Tiana Taylor, and she was talking about her, her man wasn't no good here, millionaire. I said yesterday, I want to find out for myself. Prove me wrong. I don't believe y'all. Give me a millionaire. Let me see. I want to test a, a millionaire for myself, and I'll let y'all know. Because right now, I can't tell y'all what a millionaire do. I need a tester. A sample. Just send them to me for a month. Because I'll tell y'all how Nina is. You send me a billionaire, a millionaire for a month, the Negro will be on TV crying. I don't know what she did with all my money. All my money gone. I went to the bank and I'll be sitting there like, I don't know what you're talking about. Give me a month with Diddy. He would be broke. Diddy be running. Ah, he be like, Nina's crazy. Diddy didn't get the right women in his life. He was spoiled. Put Diddy in the hood. The judge should send, sentence Diddy to the hood. Send him over here. Come on. Send Diddy over in the hood. His ass will stop. He'll stop. I told y'all. They would have his ass tied up like misery with a brick between his knees, beating the shit out of him. Because that's all he needs is a good ass whooping. His mama didn't whoop him because she was too busy turning him out, showing him how to pimp. Look at Miss Janice. Miss Janice is a top hoe. And I ain't trying to be funny. Sorry, excuse me, Lord. I shouldn't disrespect my elders. But Miss Janice walking around with them blonde wigs, lashes this long, white nail polish, and talking about she can touch the flow still. And I'm like, ain't this lady about 135? She talking about touching her feet. Who, who doing that? Because Quincy Jones don't want the young girls. They don't want her. Some They said some NBA player she wanted. And he was running from her. Come here, young man. Young man. I'm Diddy, mama. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Miss Jen is nasty. This your girl, y'all. I will read y'all comments. You know I be reading. Miss Lorraine. You, Miss Lorraine. Y'all know them old people. Them old ladies that used to smoke. They got them deep voices. I wonder why they voice so deep. I used to smoke cigarettes and turn records out. Mm, you ain't safe around here. Young man, young man, you want some cornbread? <laughs> you gotta laugh to keep from crying. Okay, I ain't making light of this, y'all. I want to laugh, because to me, the shit is, I'm gonna be real, this shit is funny to me. Y'all can be mad at me if y'all want to. Y'all can be mad. Y'all can kick me off of YouTube. Y'all can kick me off your channel. Y'all can stop following me. But this shit is funny. We sitting here talking about grown folks sticking their pee pee and, and opening their legs and doing F offs. So we don't even know these people. <laughs> it's too many young kids right now in my city doing the nasty. I need to be whooping their butts. And we talk about Diddy. I need to go find where these kids are at. They're supposed to be an after school program. We need to go find out where they at first. Shit, am I getting paid for this? Yeah, you two paying me. But they ain't paying me the 250000 a month. I want that. Shit. But what y'all think? Send me a message. You know, I'm going to read y'all comments. Y'all know I respond to every last one of them. Somebody said she a sugar. Aunt Tanessa, she a sugar mama. <laughs> oh, I would be scared. Miss Pearl, Miss Pearlie. Come here, baby. Why don't you go on and wake Miss Pearl? Y'all for me. You, I'm going I'm to call my brother. I'm like, I remember you used to go to Miss Parker's house all the time, James. So much you cleaning her yard. Did she put her teeth out and do something to you? Tell me, brother. We can we can come up. We can sue her ass. What Miss Parker do to you? Because I'm starting to believe why all the kids, oh, all the boys wanted to do Miss Parker yard. Yeah, we had a Miss Parker in our neighborhood, but she didn't look like the one for Friday. She was the snitch of the neighborhood. God, I think Miss Parker didn't die. Lord, forgive me. Yeah, Miss Parker ain't even here no more. But she used to tell on everybody. But I'm finna call my brother and say, is that why you used to be doing Miss Parker Yard all the time? Because I, I want to know what she was doing. Come here, James. I got a few dollars for you. Don't tell your mama. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I laugh every day. I don't take stuff serious like that no more. You know, it is what it is. Life is going to be what it is. I'm dead ass serious, for real. I cannot sit here and, and have... You see these wrinkles in my forehead? Diddy don't deserve one of those. I wish I would give Diddy one of these wrinkles. Until Diddy start paying my bills, I don't give a damn about Diddy. I, I, I'm just being... I don't. Nah. Mm -mm. I tell the story because people want to hear about it. And YouTube tell us to talk about what's trending. And we got to tell y'all what's going on. Because I really wanted to talk about it. When I get home, I think I'm going to have my son pull up my computer system and stuff. Because I don't know how to work it yet. I'm kind of touched. I wanted to talk about the shooting in Chicago. A 26-year-old brother got killed a few days ago by police officers. They shot 96 times at his car and, and deleted him. They deleted him. I got to stop saying certain words on YouTube. I'm going to get in trouble. They deleted this young man. And that's more important than what's going on with Diddy. And I don't hardly see nobody talking about that. Yep, a young brother, he gone. Another police shoot. So that's more serious to me than what's going on over at Diddy House. And I'm just being serious. When I'm talking about Diddy, to me, it's entertainment. Because all those people was wrong. If y'all don't want to believe it or not, if they were over 18, anybody was over 18, they all was wrong, and they was doing some ungodly stuff for a long time. And now it's time to pay the piper. If all of them go to jail, or they all go free. That's just my opinion. I'm sorry if y'all don't like it, but that's just how I feel. Diddy should not be standing by himself, because that's all I hear y'all saying. Diddy, 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 Dirty Diddy. What about Dirty Everybody Else? Dirty Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary J. Blige, who was messing with a kid. The round man looking like the Campbell cigarettes, Jay Z. What about him? They said her, her daddy sold Beyonce to him. I'm starting to believe this stuff for real. Are they really selling these kids? They saying that his dad, her daddy sold her to Jay Z. Because I'm like, ain't no way she looked over Nelly. Nelly was in love with Beyonce, she didn't like Nelly. He's a show up with Popeye's chicken every day trying to. I like you. I like you. She didn't like Nelly, and she ended up with Jay-Z. That's when I knew she was smoking. I said, that girl on drugs. She got to be on crack. I know Jay-Z slang it from here to down Mississippi, but no. Mm-mm. Nelly can use the rose. He don't have to have nothing. He can just use the rose. You see Shanti smiling. You see how they smiling? She is. She didn't hurry up and got a baby. You know what? Nelly got that $50 million. Yeah, Shanti ain't crazy. She didn't, she didn't get pregnant. When he was just with the patch on his eye dancing. She didn't get pregnant in. When he got that $50 million, she said, it's time to have a baby. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. She didn't even have to get the ring. That baby is the ring. Because from now on, forever, ever, he for to pay for that. At least till he's 18, 21. So she, she wasn't dumb. At first, I'm like, why would she get pregnant at 50? And I'm like, well, shit, he got $50 million? She can hire her nanny. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So she good. But this your girl, y'all. I got to go. Laugh. Stop being so serious. Let the Lord do their thing with Diddy. Let God be God. Because y'all see, it's a big joke. Yes, Homeland Security messed up. And they trying to fix it. Trust me what I say that. They messed up. Y'all act like these people are not human beings. Those are human beings in those uniforms. Human beings go mess up. I don't care what the conviction rate. You know why their conviction rate is 98%? They said 98% of the time they get a conviction. Ain't that, don't that seem kind of wrong? They brag about being wrong. Don't that seem kind of unfair? How you get a conviction 98% of the time? You gonna tell me only 2% of the people is innocent. No, that means you make stuff stick. You make stuff up. Just think about it. When it comes to the feds level, they ain't going to lose because they're the feds. They're going to make sure your ass go to jail. That's all they saying. 98% of the time, we can't say 100 because nothing in life is 100%. But we're going to get as close as we can. We never let nobody walk. That's why they say that and they brag about it. Nobody ever walk from them. But since they don't have nothing... 
they finna get something. And little Rodney better be careful. And Cassie, you better be careful. Because the feds is dirty. And there's a lot of dirty people out here. They will use you up. And then they will lock your ass up or delete you. Y'all playing with the wrong stuff. Y'all playing with fire. Y'all playing with power and money. You can't win with power and money. Especially little Rod. You broke. At least, at least Cassie got $30 million to play with. Damn it. You on damn it um, R. Kelly level, little Rodney. You should have just zipped it. You should have just ate it, took an L, because you playing with fire. You forgot when you told old Diddy, you telling on some people bigger than Diddy. You would never work again. I'm sorry, I'm just being real. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Laugh. Your man, your man.